All right, problem number four uh, deals with what's called the effects of doubling. So suppose you stack pennies on the squares of a chessboard so that there's one penny on square one. So let's say I have my uh, chessboard here and here's square one. So there's one penny there. And then there's two pennies on the second square. And then there's four pennies on the third square. And then eight pennies, 16 pennies, 32 pennies, so on and so forth. So I'm just repeatedly doubling the number of pennies as I move from square to square. Okay, so if I fill out this table, uh, on square one, I have one penny. On square two, then I have two pennies, then it goes to four, eight, 16, so on and so forth, okay? So what's the pattern? What, what, what am I exactly doing here? Well, I'm really just repeatedly multiplying here by two. I'm just doubling. Okay, so if I wanted to detect a relationship between the square number I'm on and the number of pennies, notice since I'm just repeatedly doubling, this is really just stacking up a bunch of powers of 2. Okay, so 2 is 2 to the first power. And if I double, in other words, multiply by 2, I'm going to get 4, which is 2 squared. Multiply by 2 again, you're going to get 8, which is 2 cubed. Then it's going to go to 2 to the fourth, so on and so forth. Now 1, that's equal to 2 to the 0 power, because uh, anything uh, non-zero raised to the zero power will just give you one. So there's that. So what's that? What's that pattern? Well, the pattern here I can see is that if I look at the square number, say five, the exponent of two here is four. It's one less. And notice here the square number is four and the exponent is three. It's one less. Okay. So if I wanted to say no what's the number of pennies on square 64? That's going to be 2 raised to the, well, 1 less than 64. So it would be 2 to the 63rd pennies on this 64th square. And then it says to find the height of the stack on that 64th square in inches, feet, and miles, one penny is about 0 0.0598 uh, inches thick. And then it says, to put this answer in perspective, the distance from the Earth to the Moon is about 238,900 miles. Okay, so you can use your calculator and just compute what 2 to the 63rd is. And it turns out to be a rather big number. I've just done the calculations here. So on our 64th square, we'll have 2 to the 63rd pennies, which is about 9.22 times 10 to the 18th. So that means... Take this decimal place and move it to the right 18 spots. And I'll put another way, that's about 9.22 billion billion pennies. Okay, that's a lot of pennies. <laughs> uh, if I convert now the height of that stack to inches using this fact that one penny is about 0.0598 inches thick, I'm just going to multiply the number of pennies by that thickness, and that gives me about 5.52 times 10 to the 17th. To convert to feet, just divide that by 12. That brings me down to 4.60, roughly, times 10 to the 16th. And then go to feet to miles, so divide by 5280, and you get 8.71, and that's trillion uh, miles. Okay, so. In so many ways, this just doesn't really make any intuitive sense. I mean, you can definitely imagine the beginning of this sequence, you know, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, right? And pennies are not terribly thick, right? Uh, so how on earth, then, are we filling this out and getting to something in the trillions of miles? Well, this is really, again, just speaking to the... Uh, to the effect, the power really, of, of this doubling process, right? Because the key there is that every in every sequence here, in every step to the next square, by doubling that previous amount, right? Once your amount gets significantly large, doubling it then is just going to give you something that much larger, right? And you're just repeatedly doing that. 
So in just 64 steps, we're now right into something ridiculously large, right? I mean, so, you know, the distance from the Earth to the moon is 238,900 miles. So if you take our height here of our, our penny stack on the 64 square, it's about 18.2 million round trips, so back and forth between the Earth and the moon, right? So just doesn't really make a lot of intuitive sense, but that's the power of doubling. All right, cool.